Hey everybody, this is Rex Buchanan, and I got the batteries placed into my transmitter. I had experimented around with placing lithium ions from the laptop in there, and without a protection circuit, like I mentioned, um, accidentally left my transmitter on and ruined one of the batteries. So, I ordered up some new batteries, and protection circuits, and LED readouts, Got the Panasonic NCR 18650Bs, 3400 milliamp hours. I have them hooked up in series, so it's uh, 7. Point, oh lord, confused myself. 7.2 volts total. There were four double A's hooked up in here in this battery tray that sat in here like this, but I took that out. And replaced it, obviously. I put a LED readout on there so I can see how much voltage is in it. It operates off the on and off switch. Yay. battery door has always been hard to deal with especially whenever you got something stored in there but this is how you charge it there's the LED right there there's one of the batteries there's one of the other batteries side there so there it goes off charging so that's gonna how I'm gonna have to charge it and I noticed that with the way the battery's sitting in there that also will give a person some room to put, say, a couple screwdrivers for the road. Uh, you got enough room for a pen? Nope, not enough room for a pen. I don't know. But you get the idea. Throw a little something, something up in there. Maybe the stash. You know, you don't want the cops to find it while you're out enjoying yourself. And just put the lid back on it. Trust me, these lids have always been hard. It's not because of the battery. There we go. You just got to get it in the right direction. No, except for the rattle. Only you're the wiser as to what's going on. But it'd be handy to have a little screwdriver or whatever you need along with you on the trail. Keep your lighter in there. Lord knows what else. Alright, that is my little short video showing you guys my upgrade to my transmitter. Thanks for watching.